I could promise you right now, nobody's more excited about this makeup than I am. I want to thank one of my amazing subscribers because they actually gave me this video idea to do a complete Dollar General makeup tutorial and review Dollar General's new beauty brand, which I believe is called Believe Beauty. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Picked up a bunch of stuff, spent a whole 60 doll hairs, well 55, on beauty products strictly from Dollar General. This didn't feel like so much of a challenge. I really was just more curious because Dollar General actually does carry Maybelline Wet n Wild, which we all know we stand here. We, we stand it really hard. And they also have LA Colors and that's what we're going to be reviewing. We're gonna be using this primer from Believe. I believe this is their extended wear. Like, I believe. <coughs> Pretty and Prime Stay Put Makeup Primer. I like to open the primer in the store and make sure that it's not like the clear silicone based primers because I really don't like those. And you know who also doesn't like those? My pores. Now, it doesn't have a scent, which I know could be a plus for some people. It doesn't feel hydrating, doesn't feel really slippery. I don't know, this just kind of feels like a primer. A primer is a primer is a primer. Spray of the setting kind. You'll see the Dollar General seal. She's authentic. Oh, this smells good. <coughs> <coughs> Swallowed a little bit. So this is Believe Beauty's setting spray. Supposed to hydrate, can prep the skin as well as set the skin for flawless makeup application will leave your skin feeling and looking healthy dope we like that that's actually not what it said it said we'll leave your skin with a healthy looking finish a paraphrase a little bit my b my b Ooh, you hear that my skin is nice and tacky and we like that for fundacion i had a couple of options but at the same time i didn't have a lot of options because they did have a tinted moisturizer which i was curious about but they did not have my shade i have the luck i swear which is a good thing and a bad thing because it forces me to use new things but still i wanted to use a tinted moisturizer but i ended up just grabbing this guy this is the beauty foundation so this is a medium to a full coverage and that's literally all it says also i got mine in neutral tan for those of you guys Wondering. The packaging is nice. The glass bottle actually feels like pretty cool too. Oh, and it has a pump. That right there is already earning it so much points in my book. Keep it with a pump, guys. Also, I do want to note everything that I bought, literally everything, the most expensive item was $5. The least expensive item was $3. Nothing in this tutorial cost me more than $5. A swish swish, a swish swish bish. Why do I have to smell everything? All right, so this is looking like it's gonna be a pretty good match for me. Medium and neutral is literally what I am, so. Hopefully this goes good. It says it's skin finish. I don't know what that means. There's different types of skin, believe beauty. Okay, well I have a feeling she's gonna be more luminous than not. I have oily skin and the way this is looking, we will see, we're still gonna test this out. That's what we're here for. The coverage is good. Fam, this is like a pretty good match to me. It says neutral and it is neutral. It's very Sweden. Do you get it? All right, so as for now, the foundation's not looking too bad. It's starting to go down a little bit from looking too luminous. Brows are done and they were went wild, BT dubs. Okay. This is the Believe Beauty Light Beige Your Covered Liquid Concealer. I do have to say, for being a Dollar General brand, I'm really liking this packaging. Like, it's interesting and it's different, but I like that. We respect that, we stand that, we like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Light Beige, you are orange, the house. I should have gotten two concealers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it with another concealer that's a little lighter. This is a $4 concealer. 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 And you know what, stripper? The orange hue didn't really play off as much as I thought it was going to. If I just copped you guys a $4 concealer, I'm gonna lose my mind. What? I'm gonna pop on just a little more and see if we can build her up. Just for the sakes of, let's see if we can build it up. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. This is such a nice concealer. Yo, get the f out of here. 
really believe this is a good concealer it is creasing up a bit but it's not creasing too much and you know what the coverage is there the blendability is there the blurring is there like it's softening we like that a lot i'm gonna go ahead and pop on this guy this is the believe beauty matte blur loose powder and i am using the shade light medium as well we're having a pretty good skin day for only spending ten dollars on this well i guess technically 15 with the primer <sighs> That's less than some foundations, yo. <laughs> Pineapples, I don't like that. A ver qué pasa. It's tripping me out what a good makeup day I'm having. What the flip, fam? This makes me so mad for all the foundations, powders, everything that I've tried with a hefty price tag that said was gonna pull this off and that didn't, but the what word dollar general i'm not livid but like i want to be and i don't even know why wow just overall like good skin day that's what we're having right now for like 20 dollars if this wears, if this doesn't end up like breaking me out we have found so many gems already what the flip <laughs> How, Sway? How? This I've already used. This I already know that I love. I'm so for this. If you guys haven't used the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, this is such a good palette. I think this is a dupe for the Marc Jacobs uh, Contour Palettes that come literally like this. I've never used the Marc Jacobs one, so I don't know to compare it. Like, I wouldn't be able to compare it, but I will say this is very good. Very good quality. Very brightening. The contour shade is really good as well. Sweep it. See how brightening it is, like, already? Isn't that nuts? I'm telling you, this powder is seriously, like, the tetas. It's so good. See how brightened and awake I look already? It's insane! So this is a must. Hold on, I still need that, actually. She is a pigmented hoe, so be, be weary. Blush and highlight. They have a couple of blushes. I think I saw like five or six and they all looked really good But I saw this color and I was like get on my face And it's called high tea you guys like what I experienced in London Man, I'm hyped to try this color. Also just the name high tea took me back to some really awesome memes Are you goddamn kidding me right now? This blush is stunning. I sound so sponsored right now. I'm not. I would tell you if I was sponsored, but I'm not sponsored. It's almost embarrassing how not sponsored I am. I paid for all of this myself. It's such a pretty blush. It's like luminous, but it has like such an ethereal type of luminous where it's like, it's not too much. It's just glowy, yet it still has like the prettiest color. I feel just plastic, perfect poreless, snatched, glowy, and so hoey. Mm, man, the Lord and his miracles. <sighs> Let's move on to the highlighter before I lose my mind. Who in the actual <laughs> man? Do you guys see this? This is Dollar General. This isn't a beauty counter. Are you kidding me? Need on the list? I'm just gonna move on to lips. So I'm gonna use both of these Believe products. This is the Believe Beauty Ethereal. It would be called Ethereal. I did not plan this. This was, honestly, this is Jesus, is what that is. When he turned water into wine, that was just the beginning. So the lip liner is the titties. So there's that. Lip gloss and Ethereal. Hija su puta madre. Ow! Oh my lord. This is a $7 lip combination. Holy Loch Ness Monster. My skin looks incredible. This is fuego, fuego, fuego. For eyes, I actually went ahead and grabbed this LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Believe had a bunch of eyeshadow palettes and now, honestly, it's actually hurting me in my gut that I didn't pick up any eyeshadow palettes from them. But I wanted to try LA Colors and this is the one thing from LA Colors that really grabbed my attention. So like 
like a boof buffoon. I didn't pick up any Believe eyeshadow palettes, but you know what? I will. For now, I am going to go ahead and just use this guy and tr give this a whirl. All right, so I'm going to go into this shade right here that says lid, but F that. That is a crease color if I've ever seen it. So I've actually tried LA Colors eyeshadows before, and I'm not going to lie, you guys. They're pretty good. I mean, as you guys can see, like, look how this is blending out. It's laying down pigment. It's blending out really easily. I'm going to go ahead and grab another crease shade, and it's going to be this actual crease shade. That pigment is putting in work. And this, I believe, cost me $5. This is insane. So the last Believe product, I believe, is the Believe Voluminous Mascara. <laughs> I'm never going to stop having fun with that. This was also five whole doll hairs, and I got mine in the shade Intense Black. Man, even their mascara is wowing. How? You know what? It's not that this is the most wowing mascara ever, but it is that this is a $5 mascara that's beating out so many high-end mascaras that I have tried, that I have tested out. Like, I'm talking a $22 mascara that you might or may not have heard of, and this is beating it out. This is peanuts. I'm frazzled. So shocking. How do they do this? I used to only go to Dollar General when I'd like needed milk or bread or honey buns. Now we got more reasons. 